Well, it's been a crazy week of weather here in western Washington, but it appears we're getting a little breath of relief. Rebecca, I guess the question might be how long might that last? Well, we're going to get more than just a half day. We're going to get a whole day because we're going to go through tonight as things dry out. We could still have a few spot showers out there later this afternoon. Just a few specific areas. Most of us will have a dry afternoon into a dry day on Saturday before rain comes back for Sunday. Well, look at that in a moment right now. I just want to celebrate the sunshine breaking through Shorecrest High School in Shoreline. It looks like there was a little bit of patchy fog that had developed and we know we've got some of that patchy areas of fog around parts of the South Sound. That's going to be breaking up and clearing away just as the clouds are breaking up and allowing the sun to come through even for Polsbo. It's a pretty day shaping up for all of us. Now at King 5 rooftop, when we look westward, we can see some dark clouds still and yes, there still could be a few showers anywhere between Everett to Tacoma, so that includes Seattle. We're just seeing, I'll show you on the model. We'll take a look at it. 53 degrees right now. Wind out of the west. It was dry, and we're enjoying this nice dry break. 53 degrees in Seattle and Oak Harbor. We've got 50 degrees for Bellingham, and Mount Vernon has warmed up to 54, while Arlington is staying cool 47. Now, the rain amounts, again, very light from that little front that skirted through as we got through the uh, morning hours. But we've also got another very light little front that will skirt through. Might be a hair more rainfall than this on Sunday morning, but not much. Now, here's what I was talking about when I said later today, closer to, say, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., a few of these little light showers swirling around the central sound. And this would be moving across even over uh, Lake Washington and Sammamish into the Cascades. So Issaquah included in this chance of a little light rain shower later in the afternoon. It's essentially the winds interacting with the Olympic Mountains, causing a little bit of convergence there. And then we'll get into the night and tomorrow morning and see how the clouds expect some fog around when you wake up tomorrow morning and some low clouds too. In fact, we're not going to expect much in the way of sunshine tomorrow, but high pressure is going to keep us dry. So partly clear tonight, eventually fog and low clouds developing for your morning hours on Saturday and a mostly cloudy day. But we don't have to worry about much in the way of rainfall. As we get into Sunday, early morning rain will just move on through pretty quickly and still a few spot showers in the afternoon, but not today for Anna Cordes, who's going to hit 51 one degrees will be 50 for Everett and the sunshine breaking through the clouds throughout the rest of the afternoon, save for that slight risk of a rain shower. And then we're going to see temperatures just hovering low 50s as we get through the evening, though, cooling into the low 40s out in the coast. You've got sunshine, but notice a little bit of fog expected to hang around parts of the south coast where we still have some beach hazard concerns because of sneaker waves east of the Cascades. No more freezing rain to be concerned about like you had this morning. Now we are just looking for central east Washington tend to dry out and get a little of that sun too. So the seven day forecast on your Saturday, the morning clouds clear for mostly cloudy skies on Saturday, Sunday morning, a little light rain changing over to showers wrapping up through the afternoon and the holiday Monday will have a high of 50 morning cl clouds and fog, but mostly sunny skies should be coming through for us on Monday. Very pleasant looking day. And then we'll get back to a little bit of light rain later on Tuesday night and that will last through early on Wednesday and still some showers and sun breaks Thursday, but the big takeaway for our Wednesday, Thursday, Friday moving ahead is we're going to get a lot chillier. So prepare now to pull out everything that keeps you nice and warm. All right. Thank you, Rebecca.